The mainstream media plays this every day. And I can prove it. I'm Tim Black. This is Dumb News. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like being played. And that's what mainstream media does. It plays us. That's why my topic, my motto is cutting through mainstream media bias. Adrian Broadway, 15-year-old child out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Her and her friends wanted to play a prank. We know how kids do. They play pranks from time to time. These things happen. Adrian and some friends Saturday night decided to play a prank on Willie Noble. His son had played a prank on Halloween and somehow pull a prank on these friends. So this group of friends gets together. They go by the Willie Noble's house, the, the Noble residence, and they did something earlier Saturday evening. I don't know what that was. But they came back Saturday night, late, early in the morning maybe. They came back and they egged Mr. Noble's car. They started vandalizing this man's vehicle. This man was pissed. Now, he didn't go get a water hose. He didn't reach for the phone and call the police. He ran outside with his gun. Now, I don't know when he heard the commotion outside if he knew that they were just vandalizing with eggs or mayonnaise. Maybe he just saw someone messing with his vehicle. So he runs outside. The kids run and jump in their vehicle, and Mr. Noble opens fire. He shot several times into a vehicle, a vehicle containing unarmed teenagers Six or seven teenagers was packed in this Hyundai Sonata. One of the bullets that entered the vehicle struck Adrian Broadway in the head. Unfortunately, Adrian Broadway was pronounced dead. She died of her injuries. That's the story that you haven't been hearing about. Now, Smokey Dog sent me this story. He's a friend of mine here. Please subscribe to him. Willie Noble lost his mind. He lost his temper, I should say. He lost his temper. That's what happened. And this is a very cut and dry case. But my point is that this case is not being discussed in mainstream media. Now, you got to ask yourself why. It has the same elements as the Michael Dunn, Jordan Davis case, doesn't it? It has teens that are unarmed doing something that may be considered, you know, at least impolite or stupid. Now, in this case, it was vandalism. Let's call it for what it was. They were vandalizing this man's car. Forget why they were doing it. But that's what they were doing. And this man reacted. He reacted violently. He reacted by shooting at the vehicle. He shot a number of shots into a vehicle, just like Michael Dunn and Jordan Davis. But why is this case interesting? Why is this case on rotation? Why didn't you hear about it around your water cooler at work? Why weren't they talking about it over coffee? It's because the media wasn't playing this case because it's missing some elements that make it less sensational. Those elements are race. Willie Noble's a black man. Had Willie Noble been a white man, everybody would have been talking about it. Oh my God, we would have never stopped hearing about this case. Oh my God, woo! Everywhere. Everywhere you turn, you'd hear about this case. It'd be on court TV right now. There'd be so much footage. You'd have to unplug your fucking cable box. But the fact that it's black on black, no one talks about it. And hey, 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 hey. If it was a white man, well, if, if Adrian was Adriana or Rebecca or whatever, if she was a white child, then we probably wouldn't have heard anything either. You know what? We probably would have heard less. Because that doesn't fit into the narrative. Because in our society, all whites have to be demonized and all blacks have to be victims. We have to be the victims of racism in order for our media machine to continue running. Come on, haven't you been here? Wake up. This is how it works here in America. If, this not, if we can't play on a racial, emotional baggage that we carry, if we can't play on racial fears, we can't sell fucking newspapers. If we can't play on racial fears, we can't get you to tune in. So we got to pull at these stories. We got to use that racial animus that's out here in our society to turn, one, to turn the black one against the white one, the white one against the Latino one, the Latino against the Asian, the Asian against the Native American in order to sell, in order to get our ratings. And that's what they did. 
is not Adrian Broadway just as valuable as Jordan Davis? But no, it's only valuable if a white person takes that life. See it for what it is, folks. It's the media playing you over and over and over and over again. And now that I have a voice, now that I have the podium, I'm going to say what's true. This is ridiculous. This is sad. Now, I don't know who you watch. I don't know what type of news sources you get. Obviously, you're watching me. I would like for you to, sub to subscribe. But who, your media sources, do they, they feed into this shit? I don't know what you watch. Ask yourself, what are they reporting to you? Are they manipulating you with this BS? You know, because they have a choice to make. All media entities have a choice to make. And the choice is, do I want to be a part of the problem or do I want to be part of the solution? Now, it's not easy to fight the power. But it's a fight that's noble and it's a fight that should be fought. Willie Noble's going to go to court. They're going to sentence him. It's going to be over. Bam. It's going to be quick. You're going, you might, if you blink, you might miss it. It's not going to be long and played out routine. It's not going to be a huge discussion. No national debate regarding violence or gun ownership or none of that shit. It's going to go right away. You know why? Because it doesn't have the elements that make it interesting. The same thing goes for white, black on white crime. They don't talk about that shit either. Why? It doesn't fit into the narrative. Come on, baby. You got to get with it. If it doesn't fit into the narrative, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for us, baby. It's not hot enough. It doesn't have a sizzle. It don't have no sizzle in it. If it doesn't sizzle, we can't fry it. Two cases, very similar. One, it's going to get national airplay everywhere. The other, it's going to be like a fart. They're going to roll down the window. It's going to, the stench is going to go away. I'm going to act like no one did it. I'm going to act like nothing happened. Those parents will bury their child and grieve. But had it been a white man who shot her, oh my God. I'm Tim Black. All I can do is keep it real with you, and that's the fact. There won't be any Al Sharptons coming out. There won't be any Jesse Jackson sightings. Don Lemon won't do a dissertation. Nothing. Bill O'Reilly won't have a lot to say. Nothing. It won't be a roundtable on Fox News. Gutfield won't do a shitty-ass monologue. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. It's over. Bill Mayer won't mention it. These are the facts. That's the reality of the situation. That's what we're dealing with. It's up to you and I. I'm going to put the onus on you, the viewer, to wake up from the matrix. And realize what they're doing. They're manipulating you. And the only way we can fight back is to reject their programming. Reject what they're trying to do. And refuse to be played.